So in this video, I want to talk about different uh, battery uh, tech for building electric skateboards. Um, as many of you know, uh, the Samsung 30Q is one of the DIY electric skateboard favorites. Um, a lot of boards use this. Uh, price is really good. All right. Now, the newer technology, um, I would say, would be the Samsung 40T because it really maximizes your power output uh, along with capacity. Um, so these numbers, 18650 means uh, 18 millimeter diameter. And the 65, the second uh, two numbers, means 65 millimeters. Now, the new Samsung uh, 40T batteries, this is probably what all the new boards are making, like Meepo uh, Mini 2 ER. The ER batteries are using uh, 20 of these batteries. It's a Samsung 40T. The good thing with these batteries, um, the continuous discharge basically uh, continues that you can run amps per battery is uh, 35 amps and also 45 amps if you keep the temperature under 85 degrees celsius now the 30 q's are rated for only 15 amps but you could take it up to 20 amps now um, taking a look at boosted board this is a, a boosted board battery i'm in the process of making so boosted board uh went with the 26650 so it's a 26 millimeter diameter with a 65 millimeter so um, you can see the length is the same but the diameter is much much bigger now the the reason why boosted used this because the continuous uh discharge current on this per cell is 50 amps um, which means you can t you, you can basically get a lot of power per cell. Now the problem with these cells, uh, when Boosted designed their board uh, three, four, I don't know, five years ago, these were actually really good, but but these batteries weren't out yet, and these were probably very high capacity. The only thing um, that's bad with these batteries, even though this is a 12s one uh, P, that's is the exact same battery setup on um, Boosted Mini S. It's only 100 watt hours. All right, compare that to um, this is a 12S 1P. All right, if you built the same one with these uh, Samsung 40, to just imagine much, much smaller, you would still get 45 amps at under 85 degrees Celsius, um, yet uh, your battery capacity around 144 watt hours. So almost 40% more capacity and the batteries are smaller. All right, that's another reason uh, Lucid went out of business because they're using old battery tech. Now, one thing good with these batteries, this is lithium ion. This is using, um, what is it, lithium, uh, was it, uh, crap, I, for, I, I forget out of my head. Anyway, it uses different type of chemicals. So the one good thing about these batteries they're explosive proof. Uh, they still can, you know, cause fires, but a lot less than the lithium ion. All right. Um, but you could see it's, you get the double the volume and it's a lot heavier. And that's why you see the boosted boards, they don't have very long range. Their longest range is 14 miles, even with the double. And with, imagine double the battery pack and you already got a huge battery pack and you can make it much much smaller with these uh, newer samsung 40t now you got lipos also lipos basically give you a ton more power so how you calculate uh, lipo battery power um, the continuous discharge is you multiply five amps so it's 5000 milliamp hour it goes five uh, amp hour times 100 C, which gives you 500 amps. This little battery can, uh, can put out 500 amps. That's almost 10 times uh, this pack and also that. Now, the only thing is you're not really getting 500 amps, but you're still getting almost, you know, you're, you're still getting way over 100 amps. So it's still uh, really good. But the only thing with these is that they're more volatile. The, the chemicals for lipo, uh, lithium polymer um, tend to burn out more. Now, you can still make these safe. Also, you, what you do is uh, use a battery management system. So basically, you hook up a BMS. So when you charge it, um, you charge through the BMS. And you just make sure you don't 
um, go under or go over the the um, uh, specified voltage right in your VSC when you program it now if you do that you need a ton of power um, these batteries I think cheaper good thing is you don't have to build a battery I had to build these but this one it's already built you just have to hook up a BMS so I'll have a tutorial guide on that that's another way to get a lot of power um, cheaper batteries so lipos are actually a very good option so long as you use uh, BMS but you still have more chance of the battery causing fire all right anyway today I just want to cover uh, some of the different battery setups and also um, the higher the voltage you're going to use less current and you will be able to push out more power so that's why the 12s this is uh, rated for 50.4 volts at full charge uh, runs around like 45 volts 46 volts um, and higher the voltage, the less strain you put on your electronics. So that's why I boosted one with a 12S um, setup instead of 10S. So a lot of electric skateboards use 10S, um, but if your ESC can handle it, if you're using custom VESC, most of them can't handle 12S. Um, the FIFC 4.20 Dual Plus uh, and any of the 6.6, then you can uh, have more power and you'll have less voltage sag. So it's always good to use higher voltage. It does not mean it's you know not as safe because when you're using higher voltage, you use less amps. So in a way, it can be safer also. Up 10S, two of us, not too much difference, but if you uh, want it more efficient, less voltage sag, you always go with um, higher voltage. So the 12S means 12 cells in series. So these are all connected plus minus plus minus plus minus they're all connected in series that makes a 12s 1p means it's just one pack if you have 2p then you have two batteries in parallel along with uh, everything in serial which which doubles your um basically your amp uh, output anyway um some difference between the batteries um yeah, now there's much cheaper batteries uh, a lot of battery packs the cheaper battery packs you you buy um, I would not recommend it first of all they won't give you a lot of power second of all um, the power might cut out if you're using a belt driven uh, skateboard sometimes if you're you know if you're using cheap batteries it will cut off and your your board will stop and it can be unsafe that's why battery tech is actually probably the most important in electric skateboarding whether it's power keeping it safe the more power you have uh, per cell it actually just keeps everything safer because your battery is able to handle that power but for example if you're using crappy like a 25r samsung batteries um and you're running you, you know like an off-road skateboard and you go over the limits you know you you set the power too high then immediately you might fall off the board and you might face plant so that's why battery tech is very important um, it can save your life um, but yeah if you want to build your own skateboard definitely invest into good battery um, if you don't want to build your battery obviously because it's a lot of work um, one of the batteries I recommend is the 12S 2P battery you can buy from either from Oomboard uh, or Meepo. It's 300 bucks, all right? But I built my own 12S 2P for, you know, half the price, a third of the price. So if you build your own batteries, you could save a ton of money. But if you, you know, don't want to deal with uh, all that, you know, you don't have knowledge with electronic soldering and stuff, then you can go ahead and buy uh, those batteries and that you could pretty much use it on any DIY electric skateboard. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy that.